The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is investigating paralysis and muscle weakness in connection with Enterovirus 68. As the agency announces today, more cases of the respiratory infection have been confirmed around the country. It's like a severe cold, but it's rare, and there's no vaccine for Enterovirus 68, a respiratory illness that infects the gastrointestinal tract. We first told you about the virus after hundreds of children were hospitalized in Colorado and the Midwest. That was back in August. Since then, the CDC has confirmed at least 277 cases in 40 states and D.C. as of Friday. The CDC believes there will be more cases as it works through its backlog. But there is another emerging concern. At least nine young patients at Children's Hospital in Colorado are being treated for muscle weakness or paralysis. Of the eight that have been tested, four were diagnosed with the virus. Experts say it could take at least a week before they know if there is a direct link between the virus and paralysis. But here's what we know so far. The single most encouraging thing from my point of view is how quickly the kids seem to turn around and that there's no complications from this kind of viral infection. We're not seeing bacterial infections, we're not seeing severe pneumonia. Uh, it really looks like just bad asthma that this thing is causing. If you're wondering if someone you know has the virus, check for fever, runny nose, skin rash, mouth blisters, and body and muscle aches, and head to the hospital. To avoid catching it, wash your hands frequently with warm water and soap.